Good morning. Happy Taco Tuesday. If you are familiar with this channel, you already know what to do. This is a general message, so it doesn't matter what your sign is. Go ahead and drop your sign and the sign of the person that you are dealing with down in the comment section. Let me know where you are watching from. Drop your flag, city, state, country. And we are going to get right on into this. If you are looking for a sign specifically, I just put up new content between yesterday and Sunday. So you can go to my playlist section, find your sign, and the new videos will just pop up. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I upload almost daily on this channel. Find me on Instagram. You can reach out to me for a personal reading. That information is in the description box. And let's get right on into this. People, we have... Ooh, moving on to calmer waters here with the Six of Swords. The Knight of Cups. Ooh, somebody's chasing after you, though. Or are you moving on because somebody was jealous? Ooh, the wounded war. Oh, it's time for you to go because of the jealousy. Virgo energy showing up here with the nine of pentacles and the two of swords. A choice. Big Libra showing up here with the justice card and the knight of wands. Ooh. I don't want to be a player no more. So tap in, drop those signs. Let's get into the Six of Swords, Knight of Cups. So we're having to walk away because somebody's jealous boots. Jealous boots about you. And it's not the first time you've been through it with this person or these people. This could be a workplace issue. Take this information as it resonates. Don't force it. It could be about work, love, or family. But somebody's jealous and you're protecting yourself from them. Because you already know what it is. We have two nines here. The nine of wands and the nine of um, pentacles, which is action. Taking action. You know it's towards the end of a cycle. And that's why you're moving on. Because there's secrets here. Somebody's being shady. Or you see somebody for who they truly are here. And what they're cooking up here in the background. You can't see that from this far. But in this card, you can see this shady figure here. But here's somebody in a, in a little lab here making stuff. Yeah, this is somebody who's... Telling stories behind your back. Again, what is this jealousy about, though? What is this jealousy? Because things didn't come together for them about some type of new opportunity. So maybe this is a business thing. Maybe they're jealous of, because of your relationship with this Nine of Cups. Jealous because they don't have what you have. Mm. But this is you starting new. This is, And that's you leaving this behind because you don't, you don't care. This isn't your problem. You're happy, carefree, not thinking about this whatsoever here. And this person is just angry, sick boots. Yes, the fool and the world, which is the start of a brand new journey, being carefree about it, moving into this happily, Gemini, Aries energy. And then we have the world, which is the last of the major arcana, the pause before the start of something new. This is you starting the next chapter here because whatever this was, wasn't working out. And with this three of pentacles in reverse and the six of swords, it makes you feel like, you had tried to put some effort into this and to try to work on this. And this person was still either coming at you or still stuck in their feelings. And that's this wounded warrior moment is you've already been down this road with this person. You already know. And with this knight of wands here, which is somebody who's able to quickly change directions, straddling the fence, a cheater. This is the scales of justice and or karma coming back to bite them. They're miserable. And that's why they're jealous. That's why they're coming at you all sideways and with this five of swords you're moving on because you there's no point in you going back and forth, forth with this person verbally for what you're happy they're not you are happy here with this fool card they're not let me pull this down excuse me they're wishing that they had what you have and that that's what this is all about this seven of cups yes because you have options and they don't you have other options. They see you as more abundant than them. And, they, and that's their thing is, how can they have more than me? They shouldn't have more than me. Well, well, why not? And with this queen of pentacles here, which is the most abundant queen in the deck, Capricorn energy showing up here. This is, this is you being abundant. This is, look, at, look at this queen. Sitting here in the Garden of Eden, all this abundance, fruits, plants, animals all around you, all that you have to offer here, Everything that you touch is turning to gold. For some of you, this is some people in the workplace. This is business partnerships, other people that do what you do. This is just jealousy all the way around. It doesn't matter with whether this is family, love, or work. Jealousy all around you. And that's why you're having to move on. 
whether you like it or not. But I feel like you're ready for this change. With this Nine of Wands, you see it coming. You know you're at the end of the cycle with these people. You've put, put up a wall between you and them. And then we have the Ace of Swords, which is communication information coming in. And this, see this blacksmith making this sword? Let me pull it up close to the camera. This is somebody making stuff up. This is somebody making up lies. Back to that Six of Swords where you see somebody cooking up something in the lab. Yeah, gathering people to spread these lies. Listen, the lies, the lies, the lies, and it's the lies coming back to you. See this owl bringing the tea, getting ready to climb on his back there. And this monkey, somebody acting like a damn fool here, breadcrumbing, only telling bits and pieces of the truth with this bag here. Just enough to get by. Yeah. And that's why you're leaving them behind because you already know you were prepared for this because they're competing with you. There's conflict here. And it's really with themselves. It's really with themselves. They're this chameleon. People, The people that they're talking to, that they're rallying this crowd up against you, don't realize what's going on here. That this person is truly a chameleon. They cause their own conflict chaos. They bring all this confusion on themselves. And then they rile up the troops here, the fools, whoever they are all around them, to come and attack you. Here you are vulnerable. You didn't realize this was going on here in the background, but you, because you're in this nine of wands, nine of wands, ace of swords, ten of ten of wands moment, you've been through this before. You're familiar, and that's why you're ready to cut this off. But these people that are around them, their little um, short bus shorties are hanging out with, they, they don't realize that. And that's why they get themselves all caught up in this. And you, this Virgo energy here with this nine of pentacles, being strong and independent, just focusing on yourself, securing your own bag here. And that's the choice you have to make. Are you going to be single, whether this is love, family, or work, whatever? Are you going to continue to work with this group? Or are you just going to hard work, thug it out, and just separate yourself from the group and just do you? Because that's this crossroads. Maybe for some of you in work, this is you just changing jobs because your victory, your big win is somewhere else. Leo energy showing up here with the six of wands, which is um, the victory, reaping the rewards, being celebrated, winning the race. And that's what this really is, is you're so far ahead of everybody or this person, these people, that they, they can't do anything but hate because their luck isn't, isn't going like yours. Yes, here you are chasing your dreams and your goals and they're just talking trash on the sidelines. Is that what this is? Just hating, crying for themselves, feeling bad for themselves, but here you are putting in all the work. Page of Wands, these people are impulsive. Again, they want the fast reward without doing the work. This is somebody trying to rush something, rush into something, and then be forceful about it. And then they have the nerve to be angry because they're not where you're at. Though they're not putting in the same effort that you're putting in. This is somebody doing something just for the show of it. And this two of swords and this Aries emperor, the divine masculine husband boss energy here. Control. This is you regaining control of your situation here when you walk away. When you start focusing on yourself, that's the choice. This could also be um, a, a situation at work where it's your boss. Maybe it's time for you to cut ties and move on and find another position here. We have the death card, big Scorpio coming through. We are in Scorpio season, a time of transition and transformation. One door closing so that new doors can open for you. We see that here with this crossroads. You're about ready to be out because you're ready to be in control of what you're doing here and ready to close out this next chapter, the world starting something new, the fool starting that you're actually starting this is closing it out excuse me this is starting the journey and this is the transition you're in it right now that's the choice once you make this choice it's going to be smooth but this may be a choice that you're uncomfortable with making at this moment don't rush yourself queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles showing up here capricorn taurus coming through this is somebody being stubborn you may be comfortable where you're at and this change is uncomfortable again don't be like this page of swans just doing something just to do it and you can't follow through. Think of a plan. Move slowly into this transition. You don't have to rush. Hey, man, big Pisces showing up here. This is letting go of people, places, and things that are no longer serving you. This is also a card of clarity and a change of perspective. This is you seeing things for what they truly are. This, this, this... This person playing games. That's these justice scales flipping. 
it's time for this person to, to get their karma. This juggling between two, again, straddling the fence. We see it here with the commitments. This could have to do with money, pentacles, whether love, family, or whatever. Commit Commitments, not following through with their promises. The queen of wands here, which is somebody needing a lot of attention. Leo energy with that. But this is also you with the snake and this black cat here. The snake on this rod, you being in control, focus, beautiful, whether you are male or female. But you are protected, divinely protected with this black cat here. And with the moon in Scorpio, as well as the sun and this knight of swords, excuse me, the page of swords coming through here, which is watching someone from a distance. This is, for some of you, it's time for you to leave this situation, whether it's work or love, because somebody's got their eye on you. Somebody's watching you from a distance that you don't realize that's getting ready to either offer you some type of something. Maybe they've been waiting on the right opportunity to approach you and offer you a relationship or start something with you, start courting you. But for some of you, this is somebody checking out your LinkedIn, your profiles and stuff, and that's waiting to make you an offer, a business deal. This is somebody sitting waiting for the right opportunity to help you make your dreams come true. Yeah. It's time for you to let this go because this betrayal here with this three of swords, this being stabbed in the back, the front and the sides, again, because somebody was cooking something up in their little lab, you're done with that. You're exiting out of that whole situation here. And it's really a missed opportunity for them, not you with this four of cups. They were entertaining these other offers, something that was newer, better, and now they're sick boots, sick boots without you. So drop your sign. Let me know how this resonated for you. Drop the sign of the person that you are dealing with. Let me know where you are watching from. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other videos for your sign specifically or your person sign. And I'll be checking in with you soon, family. Keep it real.